head out to Punta Gorda, Florida now, where we find our next guest. She's a singer-songwriter for the glory of God. Her first release was I Say Amen. You've heard that song on our radio network lots of times as well. It's about how powerful talking to God is in our current life situations uh, can be. Songwriting and Jesus are her biggest passions, so she decided to put them together and craft her songwriting. When she got diagnosed with arthritis related to Crohn's disease, songwriting and music helped her find purpose and lots of joy when she can't run around like she used to. And she does a great job at that. Here to lead us in a great time of music with a four-song set tonight, please welcome to the Saturday night edition of Red's Room, Isabel Maggie. Good evening to you, Isabel. Welcome to the program again. Great to see you. Great to see you too. Tell us a little bit about uh, what you've been up to. Now, it was fun following some of your social media for those that don't follow some of your socials. You and it's a family affair in music, especially it was during the holidays. You and your sister did this uh, 12 Days of Christmas just song medley. You covered a different song in a seemingly different uh, setup or location every day for the 12 days leading up to Christmas. First of all, how fun was that to do with your sister? Yeah, that was so fun. So the reason we did that um, is because in uh, when COVID hit, we were living in Michigan, and so everything shut down. And so we were um, li living in the same house still, and we were like, you know what? We sing together all the time for church and stuff. Let's do a video a day for Facebook. And so from March 13th-ish to uh, about June 13th-ish, we did a song a day and that was so fun and so then we wanted to bring it back for christmas um and so we did it in 20 2021 and then we did it again in 2023 so we're we'll probably do it again in 2024 i'm speaking for Love her but... <laughs> i'm sure she won't i'm sure she won't mind she's done it twice she'll go along with it um, <laughs> what are some of the other things that have kept you busy since you last joined us here on red's room yeah, uh, lots of Christmas songwriting, which was super fun. Um, and I'm getting ready to release uh, one of the songs I'm going to sing today, Go With God. Uh, and so getting that through production and that sort of thing and deciding what this new year is going to bring with releases and such. And yeah, so I've just really been uh, songwriting and uh, deciding which songs to release this year. And I'm getting up there with how many songs I've written. So that's exciting as well. That's perfect. Isabel Maggie joining us on the Saturday night edition of Red's Room. Song number one. What do you have to start us off with tonight? I'm going to start off with I Say Amen in case someone on here has not heard it. It is on regular rotation on our uh, sub ministry as well, Christian Media Spotlight Radio Network on uh, Live 365. It's on there. And of course, if you've tuned into Res Room where Isabel Maggie has performed, you've heard it on here as well. She's about to do it again for you right now. Here's one of her signature songs I Say Amen, Isabel Maggie, right now on the Saturday edition of Res Room. What would it take to get you to break the silence and dance through the cries of the people who would be free? When I say amen, will you put an end to the violence? Or could you calm this war inside? Bye. 
a benevolent The children who just want to live in a world where they can breathe again If prayer is a weapon I say amen, amen, amen I say amen, amen, amen Say amen. Isabel Maggie right here, one of her signature songs right here on Red's Room. Awesome sauce, says Brian Irwin. There you go. Nikki Edwin says amen, amen. Diana Bittler, awesome song. Isabel Maggie, Lisa Ritter, I say amen. Hello, Jose. Hello, Rob. And uh, yes, uh, Lisa wants you to know, Rob, in case you didn't see that on the um, comments. She had a frozen banana in honor of you. Yes, you're not going to live that one down. I have a, I have a feeling, Rob. That 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 running joke is very appealing. Um, but uh, psh, uh, it's, I'm here all night. I'll see myself out now. Uh, now Olga says, uh, "Can I borrow?" <laughs> Look at this. Olga uh, says, "Can I borrow some of your beautiful voice, please?" <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Thank you so much. Jose says, Great song, and yes, amen. Uh, yeah, I thought you'd find that funny, Lisa. Yes, indeed. Um, what are some of the things that uh, you're going to be working on here in the next? Uh, now, we mentioned you were working on some Christmas things. Uh, what are some of the things that you're going to be working on here in the next couple of months now that we are officially in 2024? Now, what are some of the things you've got working on? Yeah, next week, I'm going to go to a songwriting retreat, which is you stay with a bunch of songwriters and you just write for a bunch of days. So that's super, super exciting for me. And I got that opportunity through Mercy Tribe. Um, and so I'm super excited for the songwriting retreat. And uh, I'm co-writing a bunch. I think I have 20 co-writes set up for February so far and still Ooh. add some. <laughs> Man. 20 you're gonna be busy there's, oh yeah i love it i love it <laughs> there's, gonna be, there's gonna be a lot of good songs coming out of this uh, leah guanipa says amen indeed we're gonna be hearing from her coming up next here tonight on red's room song number two what song are you headed towards next i'm gonna sing the one i'm gonna release um february 23rd it's called go with god we have we like new stuff around here, yes. And there there is the release date. You heard it here, February twenty third, for this brand new song, which you are going to hear right now from Isabel Maggie here on Red Room. What do you do when the things you've done didn't bring you to where you thought you'd be? From where you first began, would you now give up? Will you now give up? Are you struggling to mend the pieces? Unable to put it all together Trying to make sense of what you don't understand Trying to see tomorrow but you feel like you're failing now You're okay, live for today Feel 
always right there by your side Even when you are confused Even when your heart is bruised God is always right there by your side Trying to make sense of what you don't understand Trying to see God is always right there by your side Even when you are confused Even when your heart is bruised God is always right there by your side Brand new stuff from Isabel Maggie right here on the Saturday edition of Red's Room. Well done, Isabel. We look forward to that releasing coming up in February. We look forward to that. Um, Sheila Bittler, who I'm, I'm sure you are of some relation to the Bittler family, right? <laughs> yep, I am in the Bittler family. Just married, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so Sheila would be... My mom. That's mom. And d that means Diana would be... My aunt. <laughs> mom and yeah. aunt. There you go. Sheila says, great song. Nikki says, uh, great, nice song, Isabel. May God continue to bless you. Uh, and yes, mom. Uh, uh, actually, aunt. Aunt says over there, you are blessing God by using the talents that he has given you. Oh. Um, Laura Lee says, yes, yeah, songwriting retreat sounds awesome yes beautiful song isabel says tanique so awesome isabel says lisa uh great to have you all uh joining us tonight now we asked this of tanique a little bit earlier who are some of your musical influences that you listen to or have helped shaped your musical stylings and journey for you along the way Francesca Battistelli's for sure one, and you can definitely hear that, I think, in the songs that I've released so far, but I feel like I've released more, um, like, introspective songs, um, like I Say Amen and Go With God, um, and so the, those can relate to Francesca, but I also think Toby Mac, which he does do some introspective, but he also has some, like, bops, <laughs> and I... To say the um, least, Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah, and I the songs that are I'm going to release this year definitely have a Toby Mag vibe. And then Stephen Curtis Chapman. I would say those are the All biggest right. ones. All right, yeah. Talking about storytelling and just overall just gravitas and just legendary status in this in this industry Stephen Curtis oh, Chapman's yeah. right up there and Toby Mac I mean you talk about bops I mean there's a reason why he has a backup dance crew diver city behind him just saying I mean yeah it just makes sense <laughs> it's all we, that's all we are saying yes uh Isabel Maggie right here on the Saturday night edition of Red's Room song three of four where do what do you have where that came from yeah I'm, I'm gonna sing a hymn this one um, I love you, oh. Lord. Oh, good stuff. Classic hymn. Let's sing it right now. I'm sure all of you have sung it in church, so I expect out there in Facebook some audience participation along with Isabel as she sings I love you, Lord, right here on Red's Room. I love you, Lord, and I live.
be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship you, oh my soul, rejoice. Take joy, my King, in what you hear. May it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. Now, one more time in case somebody didn't know it. Now you know it. I love you, Lord. And I sound in your ears. Such a classic hymn. I remember singing that one in church since I don't even know how long. Uh, I love you, Lord. Amen to that. Uh, who and now who remembers here's the thing who remembers going to churches now before there was all these you know flat screens and projection systems and um all these other things that you know technology churches can you know, put the lyrics up on the on the videotrons now i remember going to church back before that back when they had overhead projectors with lyrics on the, the wall that's right that takes you back a little bit but i remember singing that one back then Yes, I don't mean to age myself here any at all, but and I'm not that old. That's that's a scary part either, but that's beside the point anyway. Um, but yes, classic, classic hymn. I'm sure most everybody, I hope that's one that almost everybody knows and loves. Um, and as far as Francesca goes, yeah, Pamela Huntley says my favorite artist. Um, Monica says you have a beautiful voice. Uh, Leandra says. Yes, take joy, my king. Amen. Uh, listening from St. Lucia. How about that? Yeah, St. Lucia. Yeah, Red knows. Red remembers. Yeah, the slides, on the, the clear slides on the projector. Yeah, where you, you change out the, and you had to have somebody right there, not just pressing a button on the, on the computer PowerPoint, but you actually had to, yeah. Heaven forbid if you had a burnt out lamp before you, uh, <laughs> turned it on to do worship <laughs> right ever had that happen before oh dear <laughs> Trilisa says i'm really ancient we even had church without lyrics posted some some places still do that i mean so, some places still operate that way just yeah we use the good old hymnal books sometimes a hymnal books even there you go see it's, a, it's a, in written pamphlet form even that you sung along to yeah see there you go. Um, Isabel Maggie is right here on Red's Room. Now, what is, before we get into your last song tonight, what is, you would say, the biggest challenge, you would say, when it comes to songwriting? And what would you say is the biggest joy for you when it comes to singing and songwriting? Ooh, that's a really good question. So I would say songwriting, the hardest part for me is lyrics. I can get a melody or five if you need <laughs> and pretty quick with a guitar or, or, or not most of the time. But, um, but for me, lyrics is hard because I um you know a as a christian singer there there's a reason we say hallelujah so much you know what i mean like and so there is the cliche side but it's it's a really fine line to walk between simplicity yet depth and so you know you don't want to put too much 
all complete depth in a song and people not understand some of it. But yeah, so lyrics, I would definitely say um, it, it's a fine line to walk and and I get co-writers help for that. <laughs> that's that's why the 20 different collaborations in February, right? To, to keep constantly improving the songs. Yeah, I, I got the oh, melody. Yeah. Just help me with the words. Let's go. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, the I would say the the best part or or the the, the joy most joy. I, there is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of fun in meeting with people and, uh, you know, trying to come up with that one line. And then when you do like that's like, yes, thank you, Lord. He definitely the, sent the that aha moment. revelation yeah. moment. Where it's yeah, like... so that, that is that's a lot of joy. And then number number two, probably they're pretty tied for me is when uh, you uh, release a song or play a song for somebody and they just the like emotion of the word and or like the the fun of it it just brings them to a new mood basically um and and they're like wow that that song because it's it's not me it's all god coming up with everything and and so uh so when people you know i i feel like when they really connect to it they're really connecting to god which is so beautiful that i get to be a part of that Amen. Including even right now, we have our final song of the set right now. What is the last song you've got for us for your set tonight there, Isabel? The last one I'm going to do is a cover from another big um, inspiration. Uh, Laura, Laura Story, Bless, uh, is it called? Yeah, Blessings. Bless oh, um, good choice. Good choice. And you can definitely, you'll definitely be able to draw the, um, what do you say, uh, parallels between i say amen go with god and blessings and they're all uniquely beautiful but yes yeah, so, but this one it's my favorite cover song to sing for sure amen laura story blessings right now here on red's room we pray for blessings Pray for peace, comfort for the family, protection while we sleep. We pray for healing, for prosperity. We pray for your mighty hand to ease our suffering and all the while you hear it spoken need you love us way too much to give us lesser things what if your blessings come through raindrops what if your Thank you. 
What if your blessings come through raindrops? What if your healing comes through tears? And what if a thousand sleepless nights are what it takes to know you're near? What if my greatest disappointments are the aching of the This world can't satisfy What if trials of this light Rain the storms the hardest nights Are your mercies in disguise? story and blessings of course uh she wrote that song during a time when circumstances weren't looking so good i believe her husband at the time was going through some pretty severe health issues uh and uh it's become a bit of a worship anthem for a lot of people and the end results about just being able to praise him even when our circumstances don't necessarily look all that great but uh we um faith is a substance of things not yet seen um and it's one of those things where we need to keep just uh, praising him and just having hope in a lot of what we go through pamela says my soul is so full how can you not feel the spirit lisa is sing typing out there tanique says amen lord move yes totally present in this place is lisa Love, 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 love this song. Good choice, says uh, Monica. Love this song. So pretty, says Lisa. Um, it's an ordained night for sure. You can feel the Holy Spirit moving through each artist. Uh, uh, yes, you sure can, Red. Tonight. It's a great night to be here. Um, one of the higher uh, viewerships I, I've seen here on the hosted night for Red's Room. So thank you to everyone who has taken their Saturday night and joined us here tonight. I'm on the many choices you have tonight. Thank you for spending it with us. We're about halfway through tonight. Um, Isabel, tell us where we continue to connect up with you, continue to learn and find out more about your journey. Um, if, if we aren't already, tell us some of those many places. Yeah, uh, if you want to listen to the music, it's on all, all, almost all music platforms, if not all. Um, Spotify, YouTube, Amazon Music, that sort of thing. And then um, if you want to connect with me, uh, I have a website, isabelmaggie.com. Um, and you can find the songs that I've released or get on my email list to hear more from me personally. Uh, and then Instagram, TikTok, it's Isabel Maggie. Uh, Instagram is the Isabel Maggie and TikTok is Isabel dot Maggie. I'm almost sure about that. Uh, <laughs> and um, yeah, and anywhere else? Yeah, that that should cover it. <laughs> Amen. Let's have a moment to prayer for Isabel as well. Lord, we just thank you for Isabel. We thank you that you are continuing to blessing her with just a, a fantastic team around her of many different people to collaborate with and to co-write and continue to network and improve her craft. We thank you for continuing to provide her with many networking opportunities. We thank you that you're continuing to provide her many opportunities overall for her to just exercise her gift and for, continue to strive and improve. And Lord, we just thank you that you're opening many doors that she will walk through with her music. Lord, we praise you for this upcoming release coming up at, at the end of next month. Uh, may it continue to go well and reach the people that you have designed and called for it to reach and continue to give her a heart of song as she is writing, coming up with the melody and coming up with the words that would be glorifying to you and that it would make a huge impact among the many hearts that it is designed to touch. And we just thank you and praise you for everything you're doing um, and Isabel and all of our artists tonight. We just thank you for her being here. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for having me. Isabel, great seeing you again. Great hosting on this program with you again. Continued blessings to you. Really appreciate you filling in tonight on this edition of Red Sim. We look forward to seeing you hopefully again here very soon as well. Thank you. You too. Bye. Isabel Maggie right here on Red's Room.